Let us talk about the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. Christ instituted this sacrament through the power of the Holy Spirit simply because He wants us to be whole. He wants us to be free in body, mind, soul and spirit. He does this because He loves us. There was a time this sacrament was called the sacrament of last rites. However, it is no longer called that because that title is quite misleading. This sacrament, the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, is a sacrament of healing and not of last resort. Muscle Beach, baby! Sure we can and should use this sacrament at the moment of our death, but if this is the only time we use this sacrament, then we're selling ourselves and God's grace short. Beautiful Venice Beach. See, Jesus is a healing God. In his life here on earth, he emphasized the need for healing and restoration. Each time bringing about the kingdom of God in restoring people in body, mind and soul. And he continues to do that, particularly through this sacrament. As a priest, I get to experience this sacrament in a powerful way. I see people miraculously and physically healed. I see older people finding comfort and joy in their weakness and those before having an operation find comfort and strength that God will be with them even in those dark moments. So we have established that this sacrament is not only for those who are on their deathbed but it is for any baptized who is seriously sick, old and frail or those about to go through some serious operation. And another thing to remember is that it is a sacrament for those who are alive, as every sacrament is. This sacrament can be received more than once. In fact, there's no limit to how many times you receive this sacrament. For example, you recover from a sickness and then get sick again, you can be anointed. Or someone who is getting worse in their sickness, they can be anointed over and over again. Also, this sacrament can only be administered by a presbyter, that is a, a priest or a bishop. This sacrament is such a great opportunity for an encounter with Jesus. So, as in any encounter with God, the more we prepare for it, the better we can receive it. For example, going to penance and using the other sacraments to make sure that we can use this and encounter God in a more profound way. Bubba Gump Shrimp. It's a household name. So what happens exactly during the sacrament of the anointing of the sick? So the first thing that happens is that the priest is called and goes over to those who are sick. Then he lays his hands upon them and prays for the Holy Spirit. This is called epiclesis, the same thing we have when the priest lays his hand over the bread and wine during the sacrament of the Eucharist. Then he takes the blessed oil which was blessed particularly for this sacrament and he anoints the head and the palms of the hands of those who are sick. After that, the Lord's Prayer and other devotional prayers are prayed. Also, if the person who is being anointed is close to death, a plenary indulgence is given for the forgiveness of all of their sins, of all of their life. When we are anointed, God always heals our body, minds and souls, but doesn't always heal us in the way we expect. Sometimes God does heal us physically, mentally and emotionally. But it's always good to remember that the greatest healing is not the healing of temporal things, things of this life, but the healing of conversion, where in and through our suffering we can get to know and love and serve God more deeply. A friend of mine recently died of cancer. 
I would go to pray with him regularly and I anointed him very often. But he died anyway. But through the prayer and through his love for God, I saw him grow in holiness, in trusting God through his suffering. And I also saw him offer his suffering for the good of the church, uniting himself with the cross of Christ, who also was not afraid of death and suffering. If you want to know more about why God allows suffering, why he allows us to go through pain, and why he himself went through pain and suffering, I'll link a video below. town of Maywood, California, about to give a concert and to pack this church out. Let's do this for God's glory. Our God is a God of love and He is a God of healing and He has given us this sacrament so that we could experience His healing love. So anytime you need to use this sacrament, don't be afraid to call a priest. Don't be afraid to approach your priest or bishop to be anointed so that God can make you strong in body, mind and soul.